Radio or booger. Uh, Alright, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm making the space, tucking that, that hook in, and now, I know before we were talking about actually pulling the knee through, coming up, right, and then starting to scoot out. That's an extra step that gives him time to think about how he wants to pass. Okay, so if I'm trying to speed this up, or if my goal is to stand up, I don't need to go back to full butterfly, unless his hips are too tight. Does that make sense? So if he's really tight on me here, now I might need to. I get enough space and he keeps this knee up into my body. Now I might, might need to make that space in order to start posting up, okay? But if I get that butterfly hook in and the hips are a little bit looser or they're sitting back because they're used to my half guard game and I gotta have another option, then when I tuck that foot in, I'm immediately gonna start scooting, right? He has to post that hand. I do that not by putting pressure into him, Okay, which takes away my frame. I want to keep my space. I scoot out so that he starts to fall. I'm stretching him off his base. Make sense? So, yes. He can absolutely follow, which is fine. That's what I want him to do. Because in order to follow, he has to take the weight off his feet, right? Okay, the way to stop the butterfly sweep is to keep his hips back, right? His butt down. His head higher than his hips. As soon as his head's lower than his hips, his butt's got to come up. Right? Otherwise he falls on his face. Which is fine, because then his butt still comes up and then I sweep him. Make sense? So, think about scooting out and around. Right? It's the same thing if I've got an underhook, right? And I want to do my out the back from here. I don't want to try to sit up into him. Right? That's fighting his strength. I use that leg to chop and I start scooting out and around. Now again, he's posting that hand so he doesn't get punched in the face. Right? And then I can start pulling the foot out and getting all my different attacks. So, think, and that's why I like this overhook position because it forces you to get those hips out from underneath. Right? That's how, that's how I stand up. That's how I get him stretched out so I can flip. Cool? So, that's one detail. Second detail is with the sweep here. It's, more, it's even more exaggerated with the overhook version of the butterfly sweep than the underhook version. Right? And this is what we were just talking about is when I hit this sweep, my, my sweep is not to here. See how the space I just created? The motion is I'm actually doing here. I'll do it even without a person. The motion is I post on my forehead and I'm going up and over to sit through. Okay, that'll keep our chest connected. So my overhook is tight. I'm pulling him with me. Our shoulder, his shoulder's glued to my chest. Even if his head is inside, ideally I want to be here but if that doesn't happen, that's fine. I don't necessarily need it. Okay, so when I sweep, I'm going, I'm following him to keep that pressure on. Him. Right? I don't want to create space there so him, for him to thread the needle and come back into me. And yes, he's got an under, uh, underhook here, so I have to be sitting back on it initially. Because as soon as I turn my hips over, he's coming with me, and now we're back in the scramble. <clears throat> Make sense? He's back to a positive position. Okay, so when I do my sweep, Post that forehead, kick him in the face if he tries to follow you, and roll those hips over. But that leg doesn't actually touch the ground, right? Up and over, it touch, tuck the head, and tucks underneath. Cool? One more time. With or without a person? With them. Doing that. Now that I saw it. So from this side, so you can see the leg. Come on. Yep, so his butt's down, he doesn't want me to attack from here, but he's keeping his shoulders tight so I can't get my frames in. Fine, I don't need him. Up, tuck the foot, all right, and I start to scoot out, suck my way out, okay? I don't necessarily need to hold on with that bottom leg anymore. It's nice, it's helpful, it's a little bit safer, okay? But if I can get enough space here and his hand immediately goes to the ground, I sweep up and over, follow it. Never actually have to let go of that hand. Cool? All right, a couple more reps, and then we'll add on to it. One, two, three.